You guys, hello, happy afternoon. Is that a thing people say? No, they say good afternoon. Jesus. Ryan's gonna come at me in the comments for that one. Hello and welcome back to Sean's first time eating. Uh, earlier this year, Quentin Nelson donated for me to get gizzards and to eat them with my favorite ranch. And uh, I kind of didn't realize at the time that he definitely meant fried gizzards. <laughs> I'm gonna raw dog one first. <laughs> it's like chewing gum. I don't know, so I went to Chinatown and I wanted the real deal Holyfield. I wanted the real thing. I got like real gizzards, not like Americanized Midwest gizzards. So today, finally, for the first time ever, American Midwesternized fried gizzards. Chicken gizzards, yes? Not something I would normally buy for food. Damn near mid-November and I'm in a t-shirt and shorts. There are some benefits of global warming. It's weird living in a city like Chicago for when you drive, you parallel park more than you regular park. What do they call regular parking? <laughs> regular parking? But I feel like I've gotten really good at parallel parking. I feel like everybody dreads that on the driver's ed test when they're like 16 and then you never use it. In Chicago, you use it. So. I'm gonna do something you never, you should never do in Chicago, or really any big city. It's not just like profiling Chicago so much as it is. Don't leave a camera bag on the front seat. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the rest of my cameras and just hope for the best. Don't do this though. Parked back there, so if it gets stolen, here's some, I don't know, evidence, I don't know. Good, I just had a pick up for Sean. Should just be an order of gizzards. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You want a sauce inside? Uh, yeah, do you guys have ranch by chance? Yeah. Yeah, ranch would be awesome. Oh, perfect, man. Thank you so much. Have a great day. So there's a bunch of Harold's locations in Chicago. They have amazing fried chicken. And, I mean, you can really find them in, like, almost every neighborhood in Chicago. And I've just never had the gizzards, so I'm actually, like, super psyched. It's kind of a redemption story here. Quentin didn't ask me to make this video. I've just thought about it since that review. I mean, he was excited about it. But, I mean, fried gizzards, it just makes way more sense. I'm gonna go find a nice secluded spot to enjoy these. What the hell even is a gizzard? Hey, Siri. What? <laughs> uh, what is a chicken gizzard? Here's an answer from AfricanBites.com. A gizzard is a tough muscle that's part of the digestive tract of a chicken. Oh, cool. I also like how she acts all annoyed that you're asking her a question. I pay $150 a month for my cell phone, and she, hey, um, thing that I, hey, robot, what? Hmm, oh, I'm sorry, am I upset? Was I interrupting you? Were you mid-stroke? Sorry, that was inappropriate. I've never met anyone new before. Which raises the question, though, do AIs master? Did you program her to flirt with me? If I did, would that be cheating? Here's a nice shady spot. May I have your attention, please? Not that shady, but nice, nice idea. Dining room table. Sup. All right, people watching this video, if you have ever eaten fried gizzards, I want you to comment below. If you've never commented before, like, comment and say hi. Like, I, I'm so happy that you watched this vlog. Like, that's so cool. Like, say hi to me. I, w I want to be friends with you. The white bag of gizzards. Could also be a nickname for me. I'm a white bag of gizzards. <laughs> Ugh. But also, accurate. Slide her out. Pretty much fry anything. Americans will eat it. All right, I got the iconic Harold's mild sauce, and then I got their ranch, and then I also brought, in a container from my home, truff ranch, which is hard to get, I know, but uh, I put some in a container, and now I have three dipping sauces for this giz life. Ooh, oh, wow, those look scary. Ooh, fries, though. So they kind of got like a darker interior, and then the normal fry, like the fry itself on them, but you can kind of see it just like inside there, it looks a little darker than how fried chicken might look. Overall, looks good, smells good. 
truly, having never had fried gizzards, I think these are gonna be way better than the other variety that I had. Let's try one naked, then get into the sauces. Quentin's donated a lot of money on this vlog. He is royalty here at Hey Sean Ely. So Q, I love you buddy. Wow, okay. I Shatter and crunch, still so tough. Now, granted, I'm chewing on like esophagus or something. Not really my thing. Say what you will about chicken nuggets, but when I go to chew on those, I go to bite them, my teeth don't bounce back. Last night took an L, but tonight I bounce back. Wake up every morning. Let's hope we don't take an L today. Harold's Ranch. How's the second one? Oh, that one's even. Oh, oh. Oh, it's so hard to chew. Oh, it's, oh. I'm trying to chew it. Ranch is pretty good, I need a fry chaser. Now I know they're not gonna be as tender as like a chicken thigh, I get that. I'm not going into this thinking that. I understand using every part of the animal. I also, I get that, I respect it. But who's ordering these willingly? And if you're kinda like, oh, well, they're cheaper, right? Like, it's cheaper than chicken. Dude, this small gizzard with fries was $16. What? Can the Truff Ranch, I mean, it's not gonna save it. I need like to get one that's just oddly tenderer. I'm gonna do a smaller one. Little spicy Truff Ranch. Breading is so good. Inside is not. This is not my thing. The Truff Ranch is so good though. This is like, reminds me of like really bad calamari. Like you can get really good, tender, delicious calamari. And sometimes it's like chewing on a knot of rubber bands. And I feel like my teeth are trying, it's me versus rubber bands. Harold's mild sauce though, I mean come on. I think if you made a list of Chicago's goaded five sauces, Harold's mild sauce might be number one. Like truly, it might be in the top spot. These fries are just those like kind of whack cafeteria, like way too potatoey, doughy fries. But with this sauce, it's like got a good glaze to it. It's like a ketchup meets a barbecue, meets a Worcestershire, meets a soy, meets a... This is the sauce orgy you want. Try a fried gizzard in it now. I hope this doesn't ruin mild sauce for me. Oh man, it's like covering a racquetball in sauce and trying to bite it. <laughs> Little kid was following his mom and he's just trying to open handles of cars and the parents just not saying anything. Try to do it on the car in front of me too. Ripping handles, thank God this thing's locked. I would've had to throw a gizzard at this child. Hit him in the gizzard. I said, you gotta pick it up. Man, I'm truly not enjoying this. I can't believe I'm saying this. I think I like the non-breaded ones better from that Chinatown restaurant. Overall, Sean, how you feeling? I don't know, kind of weirded out. <laughs> you could use body language and overall tone to decipher that though. <laughs> not my favorite thing. <laughs> the season's so good. I'm not laughing because I think I'm funny. I'm laughing at how little has changed from that day. And that was, when was this video filmed? August 18th. Almost three months. That didn't come with fries though. So now I just have a bunch of fries and sauces. So I'm feeling okay. Quentin, I just wanted to do, do this for you so badly. I wanted you to get the video you intended. Mild sauce is so good. Mm. All right, one last one. I don't like it. You guys know that, but I'm a gamer. Scoop that ranch. I love trying new foods, like there's nothing against that. They sell these, this is a popular thing to get. I'm good. I might go get a twisty cone after this to wash my mouth out with sugar. I'm dreaming of you twisty cone. Oh God, I really thought I was gonna like those. I thought Harold's, I can't eat these. I like, I straight up can't eat them. How many foods on this channel? Have you seen me not eat? Not many. I can't, I'm just gonna eat these fries. Maybe they didn't cook them right. Maybe there's some places that make them nice and tender and it breaks down that stomach lining out, outerior, exterior. I mean, I know what they are. They're not, like I said, 
What a weird experience. I'm glad you guys are here. Truly, what if I was just doing this on my own and I had nobody to talk to about this? Like, what if I just did this on my own time and I was like, no one ever knew. <laughs> you guys are my therapy. Still haven't done fish balls yet though. So that's a good thing. All right, I can't sit here and pound fries. I gotta watch the waistline a little bit. Oh, there's a piece of bread under this too. Oh, it's like literally dissolving as I try to pick it up. Just a piece of bread. Thanks. <laughs> Give that to some birds. All right, well, it's time to move on with our day. Even though we didn't like something, we learned something. I'm like a children's program that your parents kind of watch from the background and they're like, maybe you should turn that off. <laughs> We're a little concerned this might stunt your growth, both physically and mentally. <laughs> okay, I feel better. Guys, gals, friends, pals, wow. Thanks for being here. I love each and every one of you. Fried gizzards up, fried gizzards down. I feel weird. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I don't know, I feel, I need to go take a bath or something. Sign out the video. Bye, again. Will I ever recover? Let's get this gizzard debris off this tray forever. I mean, gizzard debris, you know? I don't think it's a coincidence that gizzard debris is the same initials acronym as goddamn.